Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Joe Biden may be about to hit the road, Jack. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and also smash that join button if you want to get on the front lines with us and fight for conservatism in the United States and for Donald Trump. Folks, Joe Biden's on his last legs as far as the presidency is concerned. We know this. First of all, he's getting destroyed in poll after poll after poll after poll. But I think what's even more frightening is we see him deteriorating before our very eyes, freezing on stage, wandering, slurring his words, you know, not making sense. The inability to complete a sentence that is coherent. I, I've seen it time and time again. I've watched his speeches. I have to watch his speeches. That's part of my job. And while I don't watch all of them, I watch enough to know that something's not right. I've seen Joe Biden. I've seen him when he was vice president. I've seen him as a senator. This is not the same man. Heck, this is not the same man as in 2020. And that was pretty, well, that was pretty tough to watch on its own. This is even worse. And now we know who might replace him. And it's not who you think. They interviewed one of the potential replacements for Biden. And he had some very interesting things to say. And I think this this could be the guy they go with, actually. Um, I want you to watch this interview. And then I want you to I want you to let me know what you think. Do you think Joe Biden is gonna be the nominee? Do you think he's gonna be replaced? Because I keep, you know, talking about this, but I'm not I haven't asked your opinions. I want your opinions. Let me know what you think after you watch this clip. So a Republican uh, told me, they said, when this bridge collapsed, he goes, this is going to be a test for Governor Moore because people think he's going to be uh, presidential material. And if he can get this done quickly, this would be a great launching pad for him. Uh, so far, you're doing it. And that's why people are floating your name as a possible President Biden replacement should the wheels come off come the August convention. Your reaction. Uh, I am I am. Full th I'm full throated in my support of President Biden because I know so much of the momentum that we've been able to see in the state of Maryland. You know, when I was first inaugurated, we were 43rd in unemployment. Now we have amongst the lowest unemployment rates in the entire country that we've been able to we've been able to slash the homicide rates and the violent crime rates in the state of Maryland, where Baltimore now is the fastest drop of homicides of almost any major American city in this country. We've done it because we've moved bipartisan. We've done it because right. we've moved and built bridges. We've done it in partnership with the Biden administration, and I'm excited for another four years uh, to have a chance to work with President Biden. What about if your name was offered as a possible replacement? Should there something happen at the convention? How would you feel about that? Do you think you're ready? I think that President Biden uh, is going to is not just the nominee. President Biden is the best candidate for uh, for for the presidency, and is the reason I'm supporting him, and uh, and the reason that I, I look forward to engaging all throughout the campaign season to get him reelected. I know the number you just talked about crime going down. That's a good thing in Baltimore. It's got a long way to go. Anyone who's been through there, and I think you know it. But what do your constituents say about the state of the economy in this country? Yeah. Well, I think people say, see also that they are linked. Uh, this drop in this uh, drop in violent crime, this increase in public safety that we've seen in Baltimore, uh, also is directly correlated to economic growth. And I've said we have got to get our economy moving. For the five years before I was governor, uh, Maryland's economy grew by 0.2 percent. The average state is growing by seven and a half percent. So that means actually working to make Maryland a more hospitable business environment, being right. able to create more supports for our entrepreneurs and also things, things like investing in trade programs and apprenticeship programs, because right. everybody does not need a four year college degree in order to be economically successful. So these two things work together and it's working in Maryland because we're working right. in a bipartisan fashion to get it done. And you gave me 20 seconds to end. Thanks so much, Governor Moore, uh, <laughs> Governor Westmore, for your time. Appreciate it. Talk to Thanks. you again.